back viewers this is the treasures of life show the home of energy energy 360 all-rounded holistic energy my sign language interpreter is wanja get that name my sign language interpreter is wanja my name is jonah simba i'm talking about it is our time it is our time this is your topic for changing now are there things that you're tired of are you tired of being tired of something this is your show this is the time for change by the way you can tell me what you're struggling with you can give me a shout out or something 011980384 01198 0384 give us a text or maybe you can just congratulate us or tell us something about how you're energizing on this one motivational show just in case you give a phone call there'll some be somebody on that other end of the phone to just receive your call and receive your comments it is our time for how long will we say we'll, we will change? We need to change the story of we will change. One day we will change. One day we will be rich. <laughs> One day we will be a first world country. One day we will be in peace. We need to change that kind of talk. We need to change it. We need to start talking like it is happening now. I'm not just talking empty talk. We talk it because we are working it. Prosperity, I said, is in prophecy, is in talking, is in declaration. But how much better declaring while it is happening? Just imagining saying it. It is our time for peace and there is peace right now. You are not saying it at a time of war, at a time when things are not okay, at a time of civil strife. You are saying it at a time of peace. It is our time for peace. How wonderful it is to say it. You can say things like it is our time to be a first world country. You are saying it when we are a third world nation, still struggling with many things. But you are doing it as an act of prophecy that triggers something on your brain. It triggers something. There is something in you that is affected. When you undergo pain, there is a certain hormone that is triggered. There is something that is triggered when you undergo pain. And that kind of hormone is what triggers depression. So when you start talking, it comes inside of you and it reduces the release of that hormone. You know, this is not a scientific show, so I'll not state the name of that hormone. But there is a certain uh, chemical that is triggered in your mind that is triggered in your body when you experience pain consistently triggered you move slowly into depression that affects your overall output slowly you slow down you become less happy you become less productive but when you are a person that keeps declaring positivity, you trigger the certain release of a certain chemical. It is another kind of chemical that releases energy on the inside of you. That is why you should not neglect positive talk. Do not hang around negativity for so long. Do not allow your mind to seep in negativity, naysaying. Do not allow it to sink, it, to sink into your subconscious mind. Try your best to detox. Get to a place of detoxification. There is something that has entered into your brains for so long and it has made you believe that getting into riches is a hard affair. It can never easily happen. It may never work. Getting into a state of peace, a state of, um, of care, a state of stability, you feel is, is very difficult because this has been put in you for so long. When I am talking about our time, you need to start at that place of training. We are all on different races. But we need to train together. After this show, you are going to run your race. 
I am on a different level. You are on a different level. You may be on a higher level in some things. And I may be on a higher level on some issues and on some things. Maybe financially you are doing well, but you are not doing well in terms of relationships. Maybe you are not doing well in terms of your emotions. You are doing well in terms of your work or your job or your innovation. We are all running different races, but one thing is for sure, we should work at training together because that imparts in us the feeling of oneness. It is time for us to start training together, look for mentors together. That is why it is important for you to get into places where you network because inside networks, there lies strength, there lies net worth. There lies opportunities. You may have your inner eyes open into a new level, into another frontier that you never imagined. Never underestimate the power of networking. It is an injustice to be denied uh, networking. There is something that destroys and eats the men and women of the land. You know, there is something that brings them down. Those are the tears of the devil. Those are evil tears. Those are things that are planted at night. When I say at night, I mean when we are not alert, when we are, mm, we are not conscious, when we are, um, okay, for lack of a better word, not sensitive to what is taking place. You know, when you are at that place, there are things that may be planted in your ignorance. You need to be alert of some of those things because they fight your network very hard. You need networks for the future. Trust you me. Let nothing fight your networking. Some of those things that can be planted so badly and destroy your future as a young person have eaten the men that have gone before you. Trust you me. If you read the story of your mothers and your fathers, they were brought down by very simple things that they never took seriously. There are tears of jealousy, those that were planted in the land. There were tears of envy, strife. You may be working, work hard to deal with that spirit of strife. Work hard to deal with evil groupings, you know, tribalism and marginalization. There are times, you know, the, 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 the baby boomers that used to celebrate um, materialism so much, they, they, they celebrated accolades so much, you know, to the point that right now as we are talking, there is a wound in the lives of many people that are trying to move this country to the next level because materialism, materialism, materialism was celebrated so much. It didn't matter how people became rich at that age. Young people, listen to me. It is your time at your generation. Do not get rich at any expense. There is something that will cut deeper than just material wealth. You need to go beyond materialism. Go beyond the accolades. You will have medals and you will have scars, but you need to grow through the scars and the medals of life. Trust you me. Understand that there is something deeper than just becoming rich. There are things that brought men down. People who gained a lot of wealth, people who are rich, and the people of your past ages thought that is how people become people. Those are, that is how they understood becoming somebody in the society. It brought them down instead because virtues make legacy. Virtues sustain generations and communities. As you grow in terms of wealth, go deeper. Go deeper than your fathers and mothers. Look for virtues, not just empty materialism. Not just empty materialism. Yes, we are in a material world, but go deeper than just empty riches. Do we just yearn to be a first world country at the expense of our peace, at the expense of, at the expense of our stability? It doesn't matter whether we are corrupt, whether other people are dying. It doesn't matter. That is what, that is the kind of history that you are coming from young people. 
you may not understand but your your fathers and mothers were birthed into a lot of materialism they may never to, they, they will never tell you this they were celebrating accolades they would bring each other down with all manner of strange things from as uh, murders they would kill each other trust you me just because of accolades somebody would kill each other out of uh, envy and jealousy they would cut each other uh, other's character that is the history of your parents trust you me they may never tell you that so don't allow it to be birthed in your time what that did is that in that kind of uh, of, of of growth people were birthed into bitterness there are people who grew but are the blood of others and they are not happy that is our depression lack of progress lack of transfer of prosperity into the future came about trust you me you can disconnect yourself from that kind of history even the, the people who lived in the yesterday generation, there is an opportunity for repentance. That is the good thing about our country. We are a nation under God. And in God, there is no condemnation. As long as you pray and ask God for forgiveness, you let go. You forgive yourself and you forgive others. And then you gain the strength to move on. Do not allow the things that brought scars in the lives of your parents to bring scars on you. It will, it will um, bring you down. The, you know, don't just go into it. Uh, you know, don't just allow it to be birthed. Don't give it a legal ground to be birthed in your time. There is nothing good in tribalism. Trust you, me, young people. There is nothing good in materialism at the expense of other people's lives. There is nothing good in that. Your parents may not tell you that. They will never tell you that that is where they came from and it destroyed them. You, so you should learn to learn from their scars and from their medals because you are the ones that are carrying this nation to the next level there are things that buried so many parents brought down so many um, great men in our land let it not bring you down I see it in the social media slowly it is creeping in it is one thing to replicate itself one thing with history history will fight to repeat itself fight it hard fight it it is in hard work disconnect yourself from negativity Disconnect yourself from evil emotions, negative emotions. Let it not be birthed in your time. Do not give it a legal ground. Don't give corruption a legal ground in your generation. You are 40 million. The people that are above your age are only 15 million. How can the 15 million um, uh, impart you with that spirit of corruption? You can overcome the 15 million. Impart them with a positive energy. Tell them, thank you. We bless you we honor you as our parents but there is something we need to hold as young people we need to honor God we are moving into the future as a youth with energy we want to birth a better future for Kenya for the sake of Africa and for the sake of the world I see innovators listening to me right now I see great destinies I see it in my inner eyes and I don't want this to die before it's time. Whatever your scar, rise up now. It is too early for you to commit suicide. It is too early for you to die. You may have just done a mistake. Mistakes can be done away with. You wake up, rise up and walk again. 10 times you may fall, but 10 times rise again. It is too early for you not to forgive yourself. Come on, ah, let me breathe in. You know, I'm getting excited. <clears throat> Let me control myself, at least for the sake of Wanja, my sign language interpreter, so that the deaf community can also follow this. You know, you need to birth the right things in your generation. There are things that are not worth birthing. Don't give it a legal ground. The devil is fighting hard. Evil is fighting hard. He has done it right from the start. Kenya, a nation under God, understands the story of Cain and Abel. Cain was born out of, you know, another spirit. But Abel was born out of another spirit. You see, the good thing is that Abel came after Cain. You can see that. So the youth are coming after the yesterday. 
You are the today. You know, I'm talking into the future. There is something good about the future. Don't take negativity into the future. No. Carry the pure seed of this country. The right, pro uh, right seed. Trust you me, there is a pure seed of Kenya. There is the right seed of Kenya. Kenya is pure. Kenya is great. Kenya is a great nation. That is the seed that you need to allow to be birthed in your time. Take the good seed and birth it. Be pregnant of the right seed. Do away with the seed of evil. Do not birth the evil seed. And I'm winding up. I'm winding up in a minute. But I want you to take this, breathe in for a moment and take stock of your life and think of negativities that you can see in the lives of them that you think are of yesterday. Look, at, look around you. Is there something that you do not want to be passed into the future? Think about it. That is what I'm addressing. It is our time to birth change. It is our time to be real, to be truthful as the Gen Z is. See you after the break.